guys. So today I'm going to be making a little update video on the supercharger project because there's been a lull. And there was a lull for a reason. And there will be another lull because <laughs> I'm going to China for three weeks. And I'm going to be posting this video, setting it up to post like halfway through that. So I'll be in China when this posts. But I'm just going to show what the plan is for the next step, the last step in the supercharger project. So stay tuned. All right, so basically this is my plan. And this is the last thing that's left in the supercharger. So you can see here, there's like the inlet. And this is my like trash can full of supercharger parts. So right here we have this big U-bend. And what I'm gonna be doing with that is slicing it right about maybe there. Have a nice tight radius on there. This is all 6061 T6 aluminum alloy. We got it from like uh, online metals or something. So right here, it's two different size dealies. One of these is for the brake booster. The welding a little thing off of there, and a hose can go to the brake booster. Then this will be for the ICV because. The idle control valve. So the idle control valve will have one um, after the throttle body, which will be like here, and one before the throttle body. And it basically just does a controlled leak, you know, at startup. So that'll just be some fittings basically for hoses. And then the last part is this plate. So on this plate, I have these two gaskets here. Um, actually, okay, so this is the supercharger inlet gasket. It matches up. With that and I'll be tracing on the plate and cutting that out and then this is the throttle body gasket and actually um, let me grab I 3d printed this designed it I just added a little some radiuses in here I'll be cutting this out on the same plate and then both of those can be welded one on this end and one on the other end so that it'll bolt up to the supercharger and then the throttle body will bolt up here and then there'll be a fitting for the ICV and a fitting for the brake booster so that it can see the vacuum but be before the supercharger which will be over here so it won't see boost. So let's take a look in the car. Alright so I just kind of want to do an overview of what I've done so far for the project. So right here we have a kind of custom radiator tube that will hopefully clear the supercharger belt. Um, you can't see it, but I moved the power steering belt over so that the supercharger belt will be able to run off the crank. We moved this uh, brake master re reservoir here so that it won't interfere with the supercharger and the inlet tube. Um, this power steering reservoir is moved. Hopefully that'll be fine. I don't know if this bracket will stay, we'll see. Um, and other than that, what's left is the inlet tube, which you just saw the plans for that. So after my trip, this will be more than a month away, the video on this, we'll be welding up all that aluminum. And then hopefully this thing's all set. But one thing I forgot is that down here is an FMU, um, and that was installed. So it's a pretty simple setup, and. I don't know if it'll work, but we gotta see. So stay tuned, but there'll be a lull in the videos on this project. So, all right, that was the update. Um, subscribe and like and comment below.